Billy's Alphabetical Animal Show by James Whitcomb Riley A was an elegant ape who tied up his ears with red tape and wore a long veil half revealing his tail which was trimmed with jet bugles and crepe. B was a boastful old bear who used to say, Hoam. I declare I can eat, if you'll get me the children, and let me. Ten babies, teeth, toenails and hair. C was a codfish who sighed when snatched from the home of his pride. But could he, embrined, guess this fragrance behind? How glad he would be that he died. D was a dandified dog who said, Though it's raining like fog I wear no umbrella, me boy, for a fella. Might just as well travel in cog. E was an elderly eel who would say, Well, I really feel, as my grandchildren wriggle and shout, I should giggle, a trifle run down at the heel. F was a fowl who conceded some hens might hatch more eggs than she did, but she'd children as plenty as eighteen or twenty, and that was quite all that she needed. G was a gluttonous goat who, dining one day, table dote, ordered soup bone, oh fate, and fish, pape your match, and a fillet of spring overcoat. H was a high-cultured hound who could clear forty feet at a bound, and a coon once averred that his howl could be heard for five miles and three-quarters around. I was an ibex ambitious to dive over chasms auspicious. He would leap down a peak and not light for a week, and swear that the jump was delicious. J was a jackass who said he had such a bad cold in his head, if it wasn't for leaving the rest of us grieving. He'd really rather be dead. K was a profligate kite who would haunt the saloons every night, and often he us to reel back to his roost too full to set up on it right. L was a wary old lynx who would say, Do you know what I thinks? I thinks ef you happen to catch me a nap and I'm ready to set up the drinks. M was a merry old mole, who would snooze all the day in his hole, then, all night, a rootin' around and galootin' he'd sing, Johnny, fill up the bowl. N was a caustical nautilus who sneered, I suppose, when they've caught all us, like oysters they'll serve us, and can us, preserve us, and barrel, and pickle, and bottle us. O was an autocrat owl, such a wise, such a wonderful fowl. Why, for all the night through he would hoot and hoo hoo, and hoot and hoo hooter and howl. P was a pelican pet, who gobbled up all he could get. He could eat on until he was full to the bill, and there he had lodgings to let. Q was a querulous quail, who said, It will little avail the efforts of those of my foes who propose to attempt to put salt on my tail. R was a ring-tailed raccoon, with eyes of the tinge of the moon, and his nose a blue-black, and the fur on his back a sad sort of sallow maroon. S is a sculpin, Yule. Wish very much to have one on your dish, since all his bones grow on the outside, and so he's a very desirable fish. T was a turtle, of wealth, who went round with particular stealth. Why, said he, I'm afraid of being waylaid when I even walk out for my health. U was a unicorn curious, with one horn, of a growth so luxurious, he could level and stab it, if you didn't grab it, clean through you. He was so blamed furious. V was a vagabond vulture who said, I don't want to insult her, but when you intrude where in lone solitude I may pray in, you're no man o' culture. W was a wild wood chuck, and you can just bet that he could chuck. He'd eat raw potatoes, green corn, and tomatoes, and tree roots, and call it all good chuck. X was a kind of excuse of a some sort o' thing that got loose before we could name it, and cage it, and tame it, and bring it in general use. Y is the yellowbird, bright as a petrified lump of starlight, or a handful of lightning bugs, squeezed in the tightening pink fist of a boy, at night. Z is the zebra, of course. A kind of a clown of a horse, each other despising, yet neither devising a way to obtain a divorce. And here is the famous, what is it? Walk up, Master Billy, and quiz it. You've seen the rest of em, ain't this the best of em, right at the end of your visit?